This is the deepest part of the pond. I know down on the bottom I've hooked some good fish and there's a good fish. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, happy to have you guys. We crossed over 900 subscribers. So right now, please hit the subscribe button if you're new. About 80% of you guys aren't subscribed. For the guys that are coming back, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. The second thing, hit the like button right now. That's going to help the channel grow. Also featured in this video, this bait, CA Richardson Beer Run Jerk Shed. And what we're going to do is have a link underneath this to the Amazon affiliate link. So if you want this bait, which will catch bait everywhere in the pond, in the inshore, this is it. Go on the Amazon affiliate link listed below. Without wasting any more time, let's get started right now there we go a little large mouth <laughs> nothing to brag about but he'll do kind of cheating there I knew they I knew that the smaller ones sit in there that's a good strike though so caught him on the jerk shad and uh, there's a crew of them <laughs> that are about that size that hang out right around that bend <laughs> So I'm not actually surprised, but we'll take him. Good start. Is this thing supposed to be fishing like more shallow water? I think the, uh, the actual area I'm fishing, the main part of the pond is probably too deep. This is the owner's twist lock. These things are awesome. If you guys don't have one, I mean, they're really, really good, especially inshore down here because the oysters. Well, hopefully we can go get at least another fish before the storm runs us off because that's close to happening. That's how you put it on. Simple enough, right? And it looks like, like an inshore, it can look like a shrimp. It can look like a bait fish. So there's a lot of different things that it can look like. That's what makes it so versatile. And especially in Charleston, I really like the gold flake and the, and the winter silver flake. See if I can get another cheap one. Just trying to make it move like a minnow, like an injured minnow. I think I hooked him right off that point. There's one of those big carp. <laughs> they just look like submarines out here. And he's hanging out. So you will find like really nice fish cruising right up and down these banks. Like that bank is usually better. I haven't even got to where my favorite spot is to fish. This rain's not bad. I can wait this out. And actually like, you know, you might cast on a bank, but if you drop the bait in, it's better than just bombing it in on them. And I learned that trout fishing years ago. I fished with a buddy who would throw anything way far up off structure and let it like the current drift it over. So he would throw like power bait up on waterfalls and let it come down. And I'd never ever thought about doing that, but it does ease kind of the bait in. That sounds crazy, but. I've caught a lot of fish dragging them off the bank where I cast too far. I'm gonna try to bring this one across the top here, see if I can bring anything up. This is the deepest part of the pond. I know down on the bottom I've hooked some, some good fish, and there's a good fish. It's a decent, decent one. <laughs> A little bit bigger than the last one. I know the nicer fish stay back there. It's a decent, decent large mouth. Right. Yes. It's pretty good. I uh, shocked. <laughs> I didn't expect to catch two, but. Pretty excited about it. Hopefully we can keep catching at least like two more. And then uh, we haven't even tried the other pond. I don't think we're gonna get to because of the rain. But this is why I stuck close to home.
There we go. There we go, one. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, little large mouth. <laughs> Finally, little South Carolina large mouth right there, pond fish. There's been some blow ups towards the top, so I figured working it a little bit faster might help. There he is. Good looking fish. Throw him back in. Maybe like 13, 14 inches. See you, buddy. So I just started working it a little bit faster. I've seen a couple fish over here, especially because it's shaded and it's in the middle of the day. Really like this part of the pond anyway. Kind of everything gets restricted back here. All right, guys, that's it for today. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. So all I was using is this right here. Just a little jerk shad, beer run, only one color, C.A. Richardson's. It's actually supposed to be an inshore bait, but I've caught plenty of bass on it. Leave me some comments, tell me what your favorite bait in the ponds are. This is a quick little video. Next week we got a surf fishing video and a video on the kayak, uh, redfish and sharks next week. So I'll see you then. Subscribe and like. I'll see you next week.